When learning about other health systems, it's hard to get a sense of what it is like for an average person because you're learning about the system from like a book or from a website. And so it is really nice to go into the field and see what helps them, what doesn't. The level of porosity that happens with new smells, new sights, new sounds, new tastes allows their brain to really come into a flux of everything is new, I need to be, become a sponge. and. It allows them to learn in a different way. When students think of global health or global oral health, they often think about going and doing. And this experience is designed to come and learn. We spend the week listening, observing, learning from our community partners here. That makes us all better listeners for our own patients, better advocates for our own communities. One of my goals that students will take away from this experience is confidence in, in curiosity as healthcare professionals. We usually have an introductory conversation where we try to tease out some basic concepts and then we try to attach that conceptual conversation with a site visit that allows them to take that concept from classroom to reality. How it is that what's happening here in Cotobus relate to my environment? What we want them to do is take back skills and knowledge and take back uh, different perceptions of their own values. We talk about the ways that we see community input and its culturality playing into um, the way that we provide healthcare to people. But this is like one example where we actually see it happening in practice. The Minga, the elder that we visited at um, La Casona Indigenous Community, she talked about how her fathers were instrumental in advocating for that device to even be set up and actually advocating for local schools to be set up that specifically serve those communities. They were able to partner with the community in order to build a space that was welcoming to members of the community, not only in the physical design, but also the staffing and how they're able to tailor the space so that ultimately the health outcomes are better. As an oral health professional, I learned um, there are very different perspectives to approach global oral health and I learned a lot of different strategies and creative ways to actually approach how to improve people's well-being, including oral health. Our students have had an opportunity to do field trips each day in conjunction with concepts we're talking about in the classroom. And so, for example, we went to a finca, a coffee farm, where they saw an innovation around child care and child nutrition programs for families that are living on the farm during harvest season so that the older family members can pick coffee beans and earn their living and their children are cared for, say, receiving adequate nutrition, which allows families to earn more money and remain healthy and productive farm that we visited they had the house where it's like just a place for children to play learn like get educated it was basically putting aside like economic gain for humanity we're seeing a rise in the visibility of, of oral health and its importance to overall health nationally globally I've seen over the years increased interest in my course in global oral health first it was a few of our dental students and now we have even more dental students and we have a group of Harvard College students joined us this week too. One of the fundamental themes of the course is diversity and diversity of opinions, diversity of perspectives, diversity of backgrounds and history. And to have students from Harvard College, from the School of Dental Medicine and also from the University of Costa Rica Central School really just adds that much more. Here, dentistry is kind of seen similar to medicine. In every bias, there is a physician and there's a dentist. It kind of promotes this idea that oral health is part of systemic health, and you can't really be healthy while you have oral disease. Oral health is so important. As a physician in the future, I really need to consider it in my practice. I would definitely recommend this course to everybody, even if you're not interested in public health. You learn so much. We don't ever really get opportunities to go into like healthcare settings, into communities, learn from them directly. And so this week has been really great. Going forward, a lot of what I hopefully will be thinking about for the next few years is how do I really dig deep into the systems that I want to work with and potentially improve and think about the assumptions underlying them.
my future career. I want to become a doctor. It helped me kind of expand my mind or my thinking a bit. I've always wanted to interact with the community and find ways to integrate health and community input into the work that I do. But getting to actually be up close and seeing how that looks in Costa Rica and being able to take that back to America and see how those things compare has really been good for me just to think a bit more about these challenges that I'm trying to essentially address in the future. I cannot forget about this experience at the end. I think um, I will always look back to this week and think about what I've learned here and how I can apply this knowledge. They won't leave the same. Something has changed them through this week, and it might be different for each student. But witnessing some of the innovation and leadership and advocacy, and not only with a focus on the problems, but really highlighting the solutions is inspiring. And so our students leave feeling like, I can do this too.